This is my old Volkswagen bus. <laughs> and I was actually thinking about uh, putting this thing back on the road again. It's been sitting, I think the last time I drove it was, I think the last year it was licensed was 95. But it is a 61 bus uh, with the old 40 horse motor. And it's actually not in bad shape. Uh, you know, it does look pretty sitting here. And all the wheels are flat. Last time I drove it, I had uh, a problem. You know, these, these are, you know, 40 horsepower is not a lot. And that old motor, one of the valves, the head of the valve broke off and banged around in, you know, got in the piston. So I got the motor pulled out of it and the motor's in the shop. I've got all the new parts to put the motor back together, so it's not a big deal. And the problem, you know, back then, it was hard to find parts for this sort of thing. Well, now, with the internet, I can get any part that I need. You know, and putting the motor back together is, is no big deal. But there are like body panels that I would like to replace. Though like I say, really it's not in too bad a shape. Uh, there's a little glass that needs to be replaced. But all in all it's doable. And the thing is, these old buses have got to be uh, quite collectible. You know, they're good in that they're uh, really, really cheap running. You know, this is old enough where it's got the old six volt system. <clears throat> really simple. They don't actually even have a gas gauge. They've got a reserve tank, kind of like a motorcycle. You know, it, it's, it's quite a setup, really. <clears throat> but 40 horsepower, like I say, on interstate highways and stuff, uh, and there could be a handful, uh, especially if you're bucking a wind, you know, that's a big thing to try to get to at any speed or hills. So, when I quit driving it, you know, I had got the uh, different van that I was using to do the shows with the rugs. And I never got around to putting them back together. And now, like I said, there's, it, there's some work that needs to be done. You know, this is the original factory paint that's just faded and, and starting to come off, but the metal is pretty solid except for like the rocker panels, but now I can get all that stuff. You know, once you can start getting on the internet, you can find all kinds of stuff. So it's worth fixing. You know, I actually, I know the guy, or I, I talked to the guy who originally bought this. He was out of South Dakota. He was a, a shop teacher. And it ended up up in this area. And somebody had, well, there again, broke a valve. You know, because uh, they tended to be that way. You know, I've got replacement valves for it now, and they're the sodium filled that cool a little better. You know, because actually the head can just break off. And if you get that banging around in there, it, it does damage. But I've got a ton of parts for, for these old 40 horse. Uh, there was a guy who used to race with the Formula B with the 40 horse motors, and so he had a bunch of performance parts, so I got a, a lot of parts for him on hand, so I could put the motor back together. That is not a problem. And like I say, parts are easily available. Uh, the main thing I have to do, though, is, is like the, the body panels that I want to replace. Not a lot of them, but it's basically like the rocker panels, stuff like that. But simple, you know, so it's not a big deal. So I, I think I'll get her back on the road. Because now I can get the, the antique plates or, you know, the classic plates for it. So I never have to license it again. Kind of better to get them while the guy can. But like I say, she's down to the primer. 
But I used to use this, you know, a little funny in that, you know, the heat around these things, it, it actually is a strange design in that they, they, they use the heat that's blown over the fins on the motor. There's these flippers that close and then it pushes that heat up front. But the only fan is the fan that is cool in the motor. So depending on your speed is how much air you get. You know, that's why a lot of times in winter I'd end up running in third gear so I could keep the RPMs up so I could get a little more heat out of it. Especially, I used to use this. I was trapping in a government pasture about 20 miles away and I'd load the dog sled on the roof put a half dozen dogs in here and drive over there. Then I load it and do my trap line and then run home. Well, always on the way home, you get a half dozen dogs in there. In winter, all of them are breathing hard. The windows would fog up so bad, you know, and, and like I said, the defroster and the heater, they just run with the speed of the motor. So I'd have to run in third gear and then <laughs> constantly be scraping a hole it was so I could see out of the windows because they were getting fogged up all the time. Because the heater just couldn't keep up with that many dogs breathing. And then you scratch a little hole, and there was always a dog or two riding in front with me. Well, then they'd lean over trying to peek because they wanted to see where they were going. So it was just a battle. But cheap to run, cheap to fix, easy to work on. Uh, it got to the point where I could pull the motor out of this and put it back in. It takes me 15 minutes one way, you know, in or out. Because they're really simple. But, you know, certain, uh, you got to know what you're doing with these things because they're not really terribly reliable. There's, there's not much to them, but what there is can go wrong. So you got to be able to fiddle with them. But it's kind of good. That's well, kind of cool, and like I say, now would be the time to repair it. <laughs> but it was funny too, I was digging around in here. I was finding stuff I had forgot that I left in here, and including there was a big box of old magazines, including some of the really old from the 80s. The Mother Earth News. And it just made me think this was back in the day when this was a really relevant magazine. There was a lot of really good information in there. Now, if you look at the new Mother Earth News, well, the magazine in the first place is about a fourth the size, and it's, it's all commercial stuff. You know, it's all trying to sell you Kubota tractors and, you know, expensive stuff. Uh, the kind of yuppie homestead and stuff. And back then, it was just trying to get by. Making stuff. You know, like here, how to slaughter a hog. That's good information to have. You know, it's kind of funny. You know, this, this was a great magazine. The new one was kind of a waste of time. But I got a whole box full of them, so I'll have to go read these again. Kind of cool. But, I mean, it's kind of a metaphor there for the same way YouTube was. YouTube used to be an informative thing. Now it's a commercial trying to sell you crap. You know, you don't learn much. It's all what you should buy. You know, some expensive gizmo. But it used to be just, you know, trying to get by as cheap as you could. It's changed. It's a good machine, though. It needs a little attention. But she's kind of, when I parked her, I had all new tires on, very few miles on those tires. And I see they're all flat. Well, not all of them. Two of them are flat. 
So she's trying to froze down. I'll have to wait until it thaws a little bit before I can get her out of there without tearing it apart. But then I think I'll start picking up body parts. <laughs> Be cool to have it on the road again. Though, like I say, not real reliable. Uh, I was always like, you know, I could, I could take the motor in and out really quick. I always thought, God, I'd like to have a spare motor to carry with me. Get so up, you know, I could change a motor quicker than most people could change a tire. It would not hurt to have a spare. But I don't think I have enough parts to put together a whole second motor, but I can get the original motor back together. That I got all the parts for. And like I say, body parts, easily available now. So, now would be the time to put her together again. Get her on the road. Cool old machines. And like I said, they've gotten to be crazy priced now. <laughs>